good evening, everyone, or good morning, or good afternoon, depending upon where you are. Um, this is what I've been doing. What the heck have I been doing? Uh, kind of installment number one, I suppose you could say. Uh, <clears throat> what you see here are some of the uh, lumber mill buildings and outbuildings that um, you can buy uh, in a set. And I've been working on constructing a lot of things, so over the next series of videos, I'll be able to uh, kind of explain uh, what my plans are for these buildings and where they may go on the layout. So um, that's going to be something I decide upon uh, as I get a little bit more work done back here on the layout. But I thought I would at least show you some of these. So um, uh, over here, and these are all Walters buildings, by the way. Uh, part of their lumber mill set, lumber mill series. Um, this building here is the uh, lumber mill, and it's got some sorting tables. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this set. And then out the uh, far side over here, there is a log flume, which you can um, set close to a pond and you know pull logs up into the lumber mill and such. Um, I don't have the log, the log flume sitting out here yet, um, I don't have it glued on either because I wasn't really sure where the mill was going to sit. So uh, it's all finished, but just you know, waiting to be installed over there. Uh, the second piece of that kit are the two buildings back here. Uh, there's this little uh, power shed and then the, uh, the sawdust burner, which goes along with that. Uh, behind the mill, there is a, um, an unloading crane assembly that is part of the lumber mill series as well. Uh, so that's sitting behind. Uh, it has uh, the, actually the parts <clears throat> on top are not movable, you know, as, as such. You can kind of pick the, the gantry piece up and move it back and forth. But uh, for right now, it's just sitting out there on the end. Um, so what you see here um, are these set of buildings, little pieces of um, you know, outbuilding equipment that uh, are available as well. So these are called the, the sawmill or lumber mill outbuildings. So I have that set as well. Uh, there are a couple of extra pieces that um, attach to this. This is the, the, um, the wood chip loader piece. And there's a, another little conveyor that fits in here, but uh, obviously I don't have that all put together yet for the same reason. Don't know where it's gonna sit. And finally behind that, there is the planing mill here, this building, and there's also a shed that uh, has a little dust on it, uh, a shed that goes along with that. So, you know, it's quite a, quite a large assortment of structures and such that go with the lumber mill. So my thought originally was to put it back there in that corner uh, where I added the little extension. There's a, a two, I don't know, two by six foot extension back there in the corner. And I hope to be able to put all of this back there well, with a couple of sidings at least, one for loading lumber, the other for loading wood chip hoppers, and maybe another storage track. So I think that's probably enough room to fill all of that back there. So that's currently where that's gonna, where that's gonna go. Obviously not here, this is where my uh, intermodal yard, I think, is going to go so um, but anyway don't want to belabor too much on on this uh, set of buildings but um, so installment one on what the heck have I been doing uh, the last year so this is part of that and uh, all of these are painted with um, I don't know kind of complementary colors I suppose I haven't really done any weathering on them yet um, don't know if I will uh, you know that may <laughs> Maybe, maybe down the road a bit, you know, once I get things a little bit further along in the layout. But I uh, tried to use little, you know, complementary colors here. This is all just regular old spray can, spray paint stuff. Mostly Rust-Oleum. Uh, some of their camouflage line is in here. Uh, the, the reddish buildings are the primer colors. Um, but that's really about it. Just try to paint everything in a, in a very similar color. You know, not all the same, but complementary. And, uh, you know, decals and maybe some lighting to go on eventually. But uh, anyway, just wanted to give you all an update on what I've been doing. Uh, this is kind of the first 
group of buildings that I wanted to show. So uh, that's all for now. Uh, appreciate everyone staying with me and more videos to come. Thank you.